Well, this, this chapel used to be well attended on anniversaries and harvest home services. And I can remember being up here when I was a small boy to help my aunt who was in charge of the, looking after it. Uh, helped to decorate it for, um, I think it must have been uh, the anniversary. Anyway, I had a tall, tall bottle. I think it was a salad cream bottle. And I was putting flowers in it, it was water in the bottle, and it fell over. And my aunt said to me, did you know what to do? Did you know what to do? I said, what do you mean? You know, you put some, go in the road, you should get some stones, put them in the bottom of it to keep it right way up. <laughs> she told off. Oh, I, but she would go on, she would go around the neighbours. She went to the neighbour down here. And he said, he said, he, she said to him, are you coming to the anniversary on Sunday? No, I'm, I'm Church of England, he said. Oh, yeah, I'm church, or we're church, she said. All ah, right, she said, you just be there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you just make sure you're there. So he had to come. <laughs> uh, my aunt was always, there was a harmonium here, and she used to play the harmonium. She was, she was, she was, she was, she was, she Chief Beadle up here, she, was, she, was, she kept everybody to the hand, but after she died, uh, there was very few people going to the chapel, and uh, preachers used to come from Peel. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can remember, it was always my job to uh, help the, the preachers to turn their big cars out here. And I was most uh, uh, cheesed off one day because H.K. Collins, he was the speaker of the House of Keys. He was a little man, and he had a great big car, and I had a lot of tacking to get him turned, and I got him turned, and he never even offered me a ride down to the house. I thought I, I, he went down in my estimation very, very quickly that day, I tell you. It was a bit of a miserable sort of day, and I thought, well, he's a miserable sort. He could have given me a lift down to the house. Absolutely. Yeah. So this was closed in 63, was it? Or ah, about house? that, yes, yes. 60, yeah, around about then, yeah. So who was going to the chapel? Just the people around about, just the farms around about. Uh, the, 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 the route to the chapel, the proper road to the chapel, was just across the fields. Mm -hmm. There's no actual road up our road. I mean, it, 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 Busy times like Harvest Home and uh, anniversaries, yes, people used to come up here and park alongside in the field alongside and such like. But uh, normally uh, it wasn't, it was just the people across the fields. And mm -hmm. there was, you know, there was a Sunday school and all here in, in my father's time. And two Sundays, two, two Sundays, two services, one in the afternoon and one at night. And, and one of the, the Sunday school was in the morning. So it must have been a busy space at one time. The, the, the preachers all came from Peel. It was in the Peel circuit. This was the last, this was the, the, the northern end of the Peel circuit. So we say we went down to Ballalay and that was the northern circuit, you see. So, But all the other chapels around the used to close when it was a special service here. And this used to close when it was special service somewhere else, you see. That's, that's the way it worked. But I learned to light fires here because it was my job when I was in Nipper to come up and light the fire on a Sunday afternoon so there'd be some heat in it for Sunday night. So that was the fire. That was the fireplace was there. Yeah. Just yeah. an open fire. Yeah. 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 yeah.